what's going on y'all man we back at it again it's your boy bezo with wills y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe man hey speaking of subscribers just gotta let y'all know i definitely appreciate y'all appreciate everybody that watches my videos that does not go unnoticed so definitely definitely appreciate y'all uh man let's dive right into it first thing first the tow truck is gone man i feel so relieved he was satisfied that went fairly fairly smooth well, mm. <laughs> uh, the power went out like three times, but uh, other than that, and it was three weeks behind, other than that, um, yeah, feel pretty good. So we're working on miscellaneous pieces right now. This is my advertising shotgun. Uh, took this bad boy all the way apart. I just play around with it. It's not 100% perfect, but it, I feel that it looks great. This is my SIG, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, shoots perfect, so beautiful. I'm not painting this. I'm not painting neither one of these two. Uh, one, I don't want to depreciate the value of it. I don't want to pre depreciate anything. I got to at least have one normal looking gun in the family. So, <laughs> um, Other than that, these two will be painting. Uh, we'll paint these. Paint this right here. Um, the 380 Ruger. So I think he wants to do gold on this. Now, this is actually gold, but it's, it's actually gold from a rattle can, and it's I put clear coat on it, and when I put the clear coat on it, it changed the tone and kind of ruined it. So we're gonna sand this back down. Um, probably throw some paint strip on it or something. Uh, other than that, we're gonna. I think we're gonna hit these with a chameleon color. Gotta make sure we got it. So what we plan on doing is actually hitting it with the chameleon color. The I don't think it's that one. That feels cool. Got a color shift over here. I think. And dang it. Might be one of those, but what I plan on doing is hitting it with that, and then I use my paint gun to go ahead and clear it. Throw some Pro Clear on there and clear it. Call it a day with this one, and then shoot this one gold as well. But the thing is, if you're gonna use a paint can, I don't know if that's a really good idea because of durability. That's that's my thing. That's why I don't want to do this one gold because when you clear it, it comes out like this. Now this is the clear. This is the gold from uh, a can. I have some gold. Oh well, I have to check and see if I have some gold. So I, I'm not. When people say, "Oh, can you chrome it or can you go to spray the gold?" Those are the two colors. I'm just not. Uh, I don't like them. I kind of sometimes persuade them to get a different color, like red, blues, orange, greens, yellows, stuff like that. I don't mind doing. But gold and silver and everybody's just chrome it. I'm just like, uh, haven't really perfected that yet. I'm not, uh, like I said, when I sprayed it and didn't clear it, it laid it. When I sprayed this and did not clear it, it laid down wonderful. It laid down so perfect. It looked gorgeous. It looked like a gold Rolex watch. Like it looked really good. But as soon as I cleared it, it, it you know, it, it turned out like this. And this is not a, I don't, I don't like this at all. But without that clear coat, you lose the durability because it dried, I think, like two days later. I like barely nicked it and it like not damn near flaked off. And I'm like, oh, no, nah. that's why I cleared this. So got to mess around with it, man. Let's go ahead and get started, though. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and give you all a rundown on exactly what we're going to be doing to each gun. This one, we go on a color shift on the shotgun. Uh, this one uh he's doing gold but in specific areas now do not ask me why someone else wants their gun a certain way or anything a certain way i don't know okay so obviously we got the masking paper right here but just the line uh just the inside the grooves and uh, i got a mask up right here is the only thing and then the slide so slide will be gold in here will be gold up here will be gold this will be masked up so don't ask on both sides so color shifts right here i think it's like in between 16 to 21 dollars at your local auto zone i yes it's expensive i said holy shit because i rung it up i mean i just grabbed it i didn't even look at the price and he gave me the total and it was some outrageous vicious price so um i would say the best results if you're gonna use this color shift or any color shift um black base coat is amazing does wonders um i did it with the gray primer and the black primer and this is the way you want to go. It's a world of a difference. A gray primer is like, you can barely see it. It's not, it doesn't flip flop. So we're going to see how it looks when we get it on the gun. Y'all stay tuned. I got to switch this because I didn't know I was going to do the color shift. So now I have to put the black primer on or just paint it black. Something, something black base coat. It matters. Trust me. And then this will be the gold. So let's get it. 
speaking for my beginners or right, gum comes in or you want to get ready to paint your gun um depending on how it is um well no just go ahead and scuff it down if it's already painted like if it has a black look to it just scuff it and and shoot it the color uh versus this one actually had that metal metal look it wasn't it's not like this didn't come in like this it was more on the actual metal so i went ahead and scuffed it primed it because it was bare metal uh and now we're getting ready to paint it versus this one if it would have came in like this just scuff it and paint it so but i have to have a base coat on these bad boys so because we got to go we're going with that chameleon color wiped it down with the wax and grease remover now we're getting ready to go ahead and use some black base coat but this is just primer uh, you just want it black because without the black you're not going to get the results that we're looking for which is that chameleon shift color so let's go ahead and just tack it on there with some black So we got the guns hanging up, got the black primer on there. Uh, this one, hey man, life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. <laughs> nah, uh, this one I pretty much got it scuffed down. Uh, we're gonna throw a little primer on there because it is bare metal. Um, other than that, this should go fairly smooth. Uh, the shotgun, we're going to chameleon color. Like I said, you need a black base coat now. Like I said, whether it's paint, primer, I got primer on here. So we about to go ahead and spray this bad boy right now. let them bad boys sit right there we gotta slap some clear now what i'm gonna do is make my life easier is i'm gonna clear both of them at the same time so this one we got the primer on there i primed it because it had some metal and then i wanted to fill in some little crevices looks a whole lot smoother with that primer on there now um since we're doing gold um man that's that's why i i, I really want to pay attention more on base coat certain colors react with certain colors when it comes to laying down this gold um i noticed that black black and gray primers i did black primer and gray primer with this gold and i didn't like either either one of them so i got on youtube and kind of messed around and tried to figure out what's a good base coat for this gold and and i seen silver so i, I laid it down with some silver and then put the gold on and it made a world of a difference it looked really good so i don't have silver right now um i got something close to silver uh, this is actually a paint coat to uh, a Buick, I think. So I got just a little bit of that. So as a matter of fact, I'm experimenting. So you guys get to see exactly how this is going to come out. This is a little, it's almost silver. It looks, honestly, it looks silver, but it's got a little tint to it. So we're going to lay this. Uh, we're going to lay the gold on top of that. So we're going to see how it looks. So I'm going to shoot this on there first. Then we're going to shoot that gold. So let's check it out. Okay, that's pretty decent. Uh, PSI, we're looking at about 10. I need to crank it up some more. Just kind of watch the angle, especially if you got something, another project over there, but I don't really, I need to make some more. I need to make some more room so I can scoot that over, but let's go ahead and just tack this real quick. Now we're doing a tack, tack coat so that one, we don't want to run it. And two, we just wanted to make sure it sticks on there fairly even. See how it's kind of looking silver? That's what we want to aim for. That metallic floating around. 
yeah. Anyways, uh, this bad boy's about done. So, got the silver. Not necessarily silver, but damn it, it's close. So, um, let that tack up. And then that, we'll shoot another coat on there. Just in case that overspray is not a big deal because it, this color flips anyway. So, um, we'll shoot that gold and then hit one more one more time with this color and then clear them both so we're getting somewhere 24 karat gold loaded up i just didn't really care it almost looks like a yellowish i don't know how it looks on y'all's end but that is it right there go ahead and get some get y'all some ideas in case y'all want to purchase looks good looks good got a bad boy loaded up got the dv1 Let's do it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Just wanna tack it. No runs. Just tack it. Want no extra chemical reactions. I think that'll be good right there. Let that sit. Let it sit, let it do its job. Woo! The golden gun. All right, so I'm anxious to see how it's gonna turn out because the way he wanted me to mask it up and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes once we demask it. So other than that, these bad boys over here are drying. Like I said, I'm gonna do one skim coat, one more skim coat so that overspray. I know I need a curtain, I, I, wanna, I wanna do a lot, but like I said, baller on a budget um eventually get like some areas where i can actually because i used to hang them over here have my little hair dryer or warming them up but i got a shotgun now so I'll probably put that pistol over here put that hair dryer probably mask cover this up or something figure something out other coat real real quick um just to kind of speed the process up just so i don't uh bore you guys out with the video uh that thing looks kind of look real good man uh i think i'm, I'm anxious to see the black and gold so I'm actually kind of hyped up about it because I was real skeptical. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, because I got that masked up. Y'all seen how it was when it was all masked up. So got the James Bond golden gun kind of sitting. Then we got the exotic uh, color shifter right here. So y'all let me know if y'all want me to do some more ideas. I got some extra paint over here, man. I kind of have fun with. I like the pagan gold. My shotgun is actually the pagan gold. Got a little bit of royal blue. Uh, yeah, and then I got some colors over here. I'd love to mess around. Got some pearls over here. Definitely want to mess around with. Uh, so if y'all can come up with a, if y'all can come up with a, my bad, I was talking with my damn mask on. Uh, yeah, if y'all can come up with some, some color schemes. Uh, I know somebody said a white and, I think they said white and gray, but I want to kind of do something exotic, something different. Maybe, maybe some, uh, some pink with some pearl or some blue with some extra pearls and stuff like that or whatever color i still got my crazy plum crazy purple over there um yeah man other than that slowly but surely getting it paint on there it's clear time baby uh got the gold on there now what we did was scuff it prime it paint it whatever color then clear it now you want to go light you want to do as light as coat as possible because the gun has still got a function we got everything masked up that needs to be masked up. So more than likely it will not have any issues. Same thing with this over here. We got our internals masked up, inside the barrel masked up. So we're, we're pretty much good. Um, primed it, scuffed it, primed it, painted it. Now we're getting ready to clear them. Let's get it. Got the pro clear over here, as you can see, 50 bucks, boom, boom, boom. Uh, four to one, go ahead and pull it. We don't need a lot, mm, probably about, let's go to three. There we go. Four to one, same thing, knock this bad boy out.
done. Go ahead and take a look at this one in the sun right here. See how we looking, how we looking. Oh, <laughs> hey, that thing looks good, man. <laughs> Ooh, I like it, I like it. y'all like comment subscribe if y'all got any ideas feel free to shoot them in the comments let me know having fun with it like i said not perfect other than that i got some more content coming appreciate y'all watching like i said we out